I see so many health trends on social media. How do I know if they're based in science? Which fads should I be weary of? A. When you come across a health trend on social media, I suggest approaching it with some skepticism. There's so much misinformation online, and I've seen plenty of people get caught up in fads that make doctors like me cringe. But at the same time, I understand the allure. Health trends are often pushed by influencers with some kind of healthcare, biology or nutrition background. They can make something dubious seem logical by walking you through data and concepts that appear rooted in science, sprinkling in buzzwords like, microbiome, or, inflammation, and referencing medical studies. It can be difficult to know if these claims are legit. It takes most physicians years to learn how to assess if the journal, the methods and the foundational physiology quoted in a study are vigorous. When you come across a claim, ask yourself the following. If the claim doesn't pass this test, talk to a healthcare provider before trying it, just to be safe. Want to know which trends to look out for? Here are a few of the fads you may find on social media this year, and what to try instead. I've seen supplements drain a patient's limited income or cause dangerous interactions with their medications. Mixing St. John's Wort, an herbal supplement, and warfarin can increase the risk of stroke, for example. Some supplements are harmless placebos, but my advice remains. Save your money and mental effort wherever you can in life, and discuss with a physician before starting any supplement, even ones marketed as natural. If you're still considering starting a supplement, here's what the research says about some fashionable ones. Some of my patients treat a juice cleanse. That is, consuming only juice for a short period of around three days, as atonement for the margaritas and desserts they had during the holidays. But the best advice I have is to eat more whole foods instead. Fruits, legumes, lean meats and whole grains. It's true you may lose weight during a cleanse. Juice is mainly water, and you'll probably consume fewer calories than usual. But it's not a healthy long-term solution. It's also possible you'll feel better afterward. You'll be cutting out processed, greasy foods, spices and additives. That refreshed feeling, therefore, is more a function of what you aren't eating. But does it help you cleanse your insides? As a gastroenterologist, let me assure you that otherwise healthy people don't need to give their innards a, a break. And juicing removes most of the beneficial fiber from fruits and vegetables, as opposed to smoothies, which keep it. As a result, your stool could become harder than you anticipated, and ironically, stick around in your intestines longer. Losing the fiber can also be an issue for people with diabetes because the sugars in the juice are absorbed more quickly and can cause a spike in blood sugar.